Hey guys, so it's been about a year of this car. I still only have less than 4,000 miles on it, um, but it's been about a year of driving it around, short trips, and it took some time, but I finally did it, and it did. It was a good one. I uh, was at the airport. I was getting a ticket uh, to go into the parking lot and the parking structure. I was really close to the curb and um, heard the noise. It was all the way around. There's a lot chipped out of there. Um, did a number on it. These are the Uber turbine rims. So it does give me a chance to at least try and fix them and try and paint match the color. So the first thing I'm gonna do here, um, what I've tried to do is line it up so that the portion of the rim uh, that's scratched is away from the uh, colored caliper because obviously you don't wanna get any paint uh, through the rim on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, the, um, take my uh, sandpaper to this and smooth it out as best as I can. You know, this, you can see the actual enamel here is chipped away. So I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out, but um, I'm still gonna hit this with the um, sandpaper and see if I can flatten it out a little bit and then we'll, we'll spray it after that. Okay, so there's what it looks like after it's sanded. Now, again, this has stripped away some of the top layer, so there's really no way to, I mean, I could try and sand it a little bit more to get it flush, but for the most part, I'm just gonna try and fill this in with some paint here so that this part isn't so noticeable. And down here, this will blend in nicely. Now, you can also see there's some scratching here from the sanding, so you really wanna be careful. Make sure you get just the edges done. Hit with a couple more. So this one was uh, Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint Charcoal. And you can see it's pretty true to the color of the cap. Now you can also see, hopefully you guys can see this in here though, there is a pretty distinct color difference between where I sprayed and the actual rim. Um, it's not really that noticeable if you're far away, unless you really know to look for it, but um, I'm going to still use a different paint and paint over this and just see if I get a better match. Okay, next one I'm gonna go with is this uh, Duplicolor Perfect Match. Uh, it says duplicates original Ford colors, um, but the, the top of the cap, but again, this isn't always an indi good indicator, but it does look like it matches pretty well. There is a little bit of a sheen to it, um, but we'll see how it turns out. And by the way, I've been doing this for a lot, uh, for a long time on these rims, so I feel confident uh, that I don't need to tape all this up. But I would say, depending on your trim color and how close you know you are to some of the other areas of the the, the car, you may want to put some tape. Uh, some masking tape on here or tape up some newspaper or something just to keep any peripheral spray from from spraying on the car itself. I'm going to try this one and see how it goes. And I can already see this one's got a little bit of a shine to it. Um, not a shine, it's got like a little bit of a, a speckling to it. Which if I look over here, you see a little bit of that, but not as much. Just from a couple sprays, I can already see some of the shimmer in there. And I'm not sure that I'm going to like that. So I'm going to try my third paint. It, it's a Krylon uh, metallic finish, so it also has some of that metallic speckle in there. Maybe it doesn't have as much, so we'll try that one.
So it does match the color a little bit better. It's not as flat gray, but you can certainly see the metallic shine in there. Um, I'm gonna let this dry for a minute and see how it turns out compared to the rest of the rim. The rest of the rim is not as shiny as that, but it might do the trick just for a touch up. So let's uh, let this dry and then we'll see how it does. And honestly, now that I see some of the shine on the tire itself, that'll rub out, but I probably should have put some masking tape here just to keep it from getting so shiny on the uh, tire itself. Okay, so this dried and I think this looks good. Um, you know, the metallic actually looks pretty good in there. But if I stand back pretty far, I can see the gray sheen to it, only because I know where to look. So I think I'm gonna touch it up with a little bit of the wheel performance that I put on the original rims and from my original video from the, um, my 2020 Model Y, and then we'll see how that blends in with the, uh, with the gray. I just went over it with a wet rag really quickly just to just to clean up any fast remnants but um, that looks pretty good I pull back a little bit it's very hard to tell um, I'm gonna let that dry I guess just so you can see because right now you can see some streaks there from it drying but we'll see what it ends up looking like um, but pretty happy with the way it looks compared to what it was put the side by side there if you have the uh, 20 inch rims um, I'll post the video link above here you can see how I fixed those rims prior thanks for watching